and then kids can play around. And also, when the father and mother, they can stand out here as well. And the pictures on the left hand side is actually, is actually the lobby area when it comes in. You can view in through these uh, slates. And then partially, you can see our kitchens and the kitchen islands. Okay. And the, the, uh, the pictures on the right hand side is actually the full details about the kitchens. Okay. And this is the theme that uh, we bring into the master bedrooms and then the master ensuite. Uh, we're using the same materials and ideas and all the way into our, you know, the, the bathroom. Okay. And on this project, I got this one short videos that could probably can explain a bit more than what I'm, you know, what I just talked about before. So hope everyone can enjoy it. Um, every project we will try to recall not only just to the uh, photos and we will recall this uh, animation at the time as a video as well and then we will try to edit into a one minute videos and then because some of the video they can help us easily to understand the, the space itself All right, this is probably the, the first project. If anyone got questions, they can ask me later as well. So I will jump onto the second uh, project. Okay. This one's called the, uh, the House of uh, Choroscuro. I'm not quite sure if I pronounce his name quite right because the, this is the Italian. And what it means actually, we call it uh, in simple terms, in, in English, it's probably called a house of a black and white. Okay. Um, this apartment here is about the size of this apartment, about 160 square meters. And it, only one lady, she's a accountant, live in this apartment. And this is sort of uh, the first different concept we come out in the first um, the draft when we do the presentations. So the majority actually, the difference actually on the, uh, the public area, the kitchen area, the dining area, the living area, and then they, they come out with different uh, uh, combinations. So this is, this is sort of option one. So you can see the living area and later dining area at the back is the kitchen. So you'll be coming through from the lobby at the bottom. The second one is a bit different. We come into the lobby and when we come into the room, we actually block by the TV antenna units. So you can, you got two exit, you know, two entry into the living area and into the dining area. And also we into the study areas. And then there remains two rooms and one major room. But the final one we do is something quite different. We enter the lobby, you can see so there's no, there's no block, no walls, this big stays as a public areas. So you, you can come in uh, with a single chair and living room and also the kitchen. And the funny thing here, we don't have a dining table because the lady was telling us, I don't need a dining table because I don't cook. <laughs> That's the time I don't cook. If I want to cook, I will go to my neighbors. <laughs> she, uh, she's got a very good friend live right next door. So usually uh, she go popping for dinners at the time or the all the time. And on this plane here, what I, I probably can explain a bit more on the plane because actually quite, um, it might be quite this one here. It's our TV units. Can everyone see these blue lines on here? Yes, we can see it. Okay. Yes. Let me see, let me clean one, this one now here. Okay, I actually got this one. All right, so we can come in from the lobby 
and walk all the way to the kitchen, come back, go through these black tiles. These black tiles, we can actually add two entries into the, the bedroom areas. So we can come in from this way as well, and then go down to the study room. And then when we're back into the room, we go to the uh, walk-in wardrobe and also into the ensuite. Okay, this is the floor planning. And then this apartment is usually for one person to live. It's amazing, amazingly big. And this is how it looks like. The house of a black and white. So the left hand side is all black and the right hand side, this is all white. And we got this award, um, Japanese um, Good Design Award in back in 20 last year. And I think that encourages us to actually go on to the different design path as well. Okay, next page. The left hand side is actually the entry areas in the, in the lobby. And then the right, the pictures on the right hand side is actually when you walk in into this arch up to the lobby, when you turn around, turn right, that's what you see on here. And this is our entertainment, uh, this is actually our TV unit right in the center of the house. So on the left hand side, you got this shower, uh, glass door. Behind this glass door is actually the study room for the lady. And the right hand side, that's me. I was doing a modeling at the time as well. So the wall on the black wall on the right hand side, that's actually the wall for the walk-in closet. And there's a different angles on this room. So what we're trying to do on this design here is actually we try to keep this black one here as one unit. And that's one entry on here, another entry on here. That's actually two entry into the bedrooms. And then we can see on the ceiling here, we got this, um, the, the slated ceiling and another one here, another one here, and it becomes longer and longer. So that gives us the, uh, the different layering for the, um, the ceilings. And also we can do this in direct lightings for these apartments. Because usually we are using the direct lighting the mounted into the, uh, the ceilings. But on this project, we are trying to do something different to use the indirect lighting as, as much as we can. All right. And on the next page, These are on the back of the uh, TV units. They're all in black as well. But I know a lot of people are framed black, but black is the new king. You can see the, the black here, we got the reflections um, from the different side and then this flex becomes quite strong. So this is actually the view you can see when you come out from the bedroom areas. On the left hand side, you're gonna go to the kitchen. On the right hand side, you will go on to the lobby areas and also the living room areas. So turn right, this is the one exit, uh, one exit here. So on the right hand side, the glass room actually is the uh, the study room. And then go through this arch and also this kind of cement kind of finish on the wall. And then when we go inside the study room, we can see this funny shape of the table here because you remember we mentioned about the owner, she's a content. She actually needs three monitors at a time to do the calculations, you know, and do a lot of budgets. And then that's why we got this very long table as well. And then this area here is when you're sitting out here, you're overseeing the, the, the whole, sorry, I'll come back to overseeing the whole living room areas. So it become center of the house. And then previous on the, um, the pictures, if we're gonna exit into, into the kitchen area, you can see this quite a interesting um, sort of kitchen island. The kitchen island, they are the shape of a pentagon. They are not a regular uh, rectangular shape. 
the reason we are doing that is actually um, we got we provide actually four seatings. When the owner stays uh, stands behind the kitchen islands, the guest that's sitting on his high chair, they can actually all face center into the owner. That's why this um, the the kitchen island because they are the shape of pentagon. So this is the view of the owner standing behind the kitchen islands. So they can oversee the whole areas. So I remember um, the client came to us and we sort of asking about uh, what is your requirements? She is quite a straightforward person and she said, I just want something different to others. <laughs> That's the, the requirement. <laughs> so we, we think quite hard to make something different. So what we do here, we're doing a little bit curve out here on the ceiling. The first design, we will try to do a second curve out here. But we find that the idea was not quite strong enough. So we started to cut out the curve and then separate into different segments. So that provides more layering for our ceilings. And this is actually how we actually derive this, the, the design for the ceilings. Okay, that's what I want to ex explain about this, the, the, the design for the ceiling. Okay, next page. Now is actually we jump on into the, the master bedroom. Okay, and then the right hand side is actually the walk-in wardrobe. It's all in black as well. So it might be quite hard to believe uh, uh, how can, wow, my God, are you using this actually the house for the lady? It's more like a house for the gentleman, isn't it? <laughs> yes, <laughs> because the black and white color monochrome is like that. It's just like so, so masculine, yeah, no, no, right? That, that, we, we were actually quite surprised as well. And then because you say, oh, I want something different. So okay. we, give, we give her something different, yes. <laughs> yes, this is so amazing. <laughs> okay, next page, collaborations. And on the chapter four, we are talking about more. This, this two project here is about the, um, is a commercial project. It's, it's the one is a cafe and restaurant. And the other one is, is more about a tea, um, tea garden. Okay. Uh, this cafe is called Windao. Windao in Taiwanese means my home. So it's actually my home. It's, please, cafe and dining, my home. So they want, to, they want to make the customer when they come in, they feel like it's its own home. So they call it window, it's actually my home, cafe dining in, in English terms. Okay. Um, the floor area is about 300 square meters as one floor. On the left, on the right hand side, you can see the entry into the receptions and then on the yellow area on the right hand side, it's got a VIP room because in, in, in this is something I got to talk about in culture as well. And in, in Taiwan, uh, a lot of people like the VIP rooms because they can lock themselves into a room, and then you can you can you can laugh as loud as possible, and you won't you won't disturb the other customers. So usually, uh, we got this VIP room. This becomes quite popular. So we sort of. Um, understand the culture as well. So we sort of put it into this uh, VIP room. Because usually um, when I was in, back in, in, in Sydney, usually you don't have a VIP room. Maybe, is, is that quite the same in Indonesia as well? Do you have a VIP room in Indonesia? Pardon, pardon? Ajahn? Yes. Two, three. Yes, Do you yes. have a VIP room? Is that quite common in Indonesia as well? Or? No, 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 no. In uh, some some of the restaurant, it just uh, have uh, this VIP room, but some of the yeah. uh, something the restaurant with VIP room is a Chinese restaurant, right? Yes. Okay, yes. No, no, so uh, they're, they're, they're more like open plan, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So um, this this um this sort of cafe dining, they do have different uh, sort of slogan they want to do. So the first one is actually to live, feel, and life. So that's separate into uh, different three sections. So we incorporate into the design of so the front of the house. 
we call it a uh, lift. And then the center of the house is called a field. As you become the main kitchen, uh, main uh, dining areas. And then the back of the house actually is called field. And then it's become a uh, drinking areas. And then on the top part here in the red field is the center of the kitchen and also the bar preparation areas. And on this project, I want to tell everyone is actually um, on a commercial project, usually the time constraint is quite normal. We only got about two weeks to complete this documentation and also design. And then we only got about 21 days to finish this project, including kitchen, including the new waterproofing, including all the fire extinguisher, all the fire sprinklers. So I want to show you about this project, how we actually do it in 21 days as the four constructions. Okay, this is the front part. The logo is called window and then we're using these LED lightings to bring in the different uh, the colors. And then the color scheme on this window on the, uh, is actually blue. So we sort of using this blue into the whole design areas. And this project was done about almost two years ago. So at the time you can see a lot of gold and also a lot of blue colors at the time. And then it becomes quite popular over the next few years. Okay, this is the front entries here. And then initially on the lobby areas. So you, you got these car seatings, you know, uh, the, the set seating in the front. And then we try to bring this tree as big as possible, but it, unfortunately, the tree the, the client has found was a bit too small. <laughs> we, we try to uh, encourage you to buy it as big as possible, <laughs> but probably that costs quite expensive as well. Okay. All right. And then this actually the, the front of the house, you, you see this, um, the reception area and the, the barrier of the two sitting area and also the lobby. And then also the ceiling part here, and we all just painted black because at the time this age, this restaurant is actually inside a shopping mall. So we we got this uh, restraint here. So actually we cannot do any four seating at a time. So basically and means I, we cannot do any seatings at all. At all. At all. We can't touch but, any seatings at all. Because uh, it's got to do with the fire regulations. Okay. So the, the seating they are all in the existing condition, but we can only paint it in black. But you can so that's why we black. decided that's why you see the scenes all in black. Yes, yes, yes. And you make it the contrast with the that exactly. little... we, we try to we, we try to make it like it doesn't exist. <laughs> because they are quite messy. You, you got so many uh, you know air conditioned dark and also the, the pipe for the sprinklers and all the hydraulic pipes and then it becomes quite messy at the end so we try to um, make it paint in black okay yes. and now we slowly enter into the, the main uh, restaurant areas the dining area and when we turn around from the previous page it becomes the dining areas and the right hand side is our bar preparations and at the end, we come to the diff quite a nice view for this uh, restaurant here. And remember, this took us only 21 days to complete. That's so rush, yeah. And then now I wanna show you the video for uh, this restaurant as well. okay with the video yes yes it's nice it's very amazing
Okay, this is our first collaboration with the, um, the commercial project. Because uh, the commercial project, why it, it is different is because you need to understand about the branding for the, either cafe or the company, and also CIS. CIS is more like an, all the graphic design. So you need to understand the, the company colors and how you incorporate them into the design. So the next project I want, I want to share with everyone here is called Luti Garden. Luti Garden is actually uh, the location is in Guangzhou in China. Um, we do the design only. The construction was done by the local uh, contractors. So what we do here, this is CIS provided by our client. So you got this, uh, you know, the, the two blue uh, green tone colors and also into the orange and also the, 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 the gold color. So this is the tone they are using for all their, you know, all the brandings. So we pick up all these tones into our design. We doesn't, we doesn't actually copy the, the, the color exactly, but we saw that um, unify them into a different uh, sort of set of colors. So I want to explain about this project here. This project is about two floors. The area, I think about how, how big is it? It's about uh, 700 square meters for two levels. So this one is more, uh, it's more like a tea serving. It's, I don't know if you, if, have you got this uh, bubble tea in, in Indonesia? Yes, yes, we have a bubble tea. Of course, yes, we have yes. a bubble tea. Uh, this, uh, this one, uh, this, this, this tea garden actually was, actually in, it's been set out as a high-end tea garden, bubble mm -hmm. tea garden. Mm -hmm. And then they are using the local tea in Guangzhou. Mm -hmm. So this is the branding they are using at the time, the idea they are doing at the time. So oh. we got this front entry here, there are the kitchen on the right hand side, and then the center bar area. And then when you go to the end, we got the stairs going up to the different floor. So we come out here from the bottom and turn right. So we got this, the bar. So the, the second floor we set up as the, uh, the roof gardens, and then they provide us uh, the drinking at the nighttime as well. So it become an open bar. Okay. This is the picture from the bird view. And this is the front view of the, the facade. We sort of taking out all the facade and redo it again. So we are using the same language of, from the, uh, the CIS. And this is the front entry as well. And when you into the front entry, what we do, we're gonna bring the forest into our tea garden. So the <laughs> idea is actually about, is more about a forest. Wow, very nice. Oh my God, yeah, how many plants in the ceiling? How many plants in the ceiling? I know, I, I, don't, I, I don't understand. I don't, I, I, I only tell the country that you're gonna fill it up as much as you can. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna make it very crowded. You're gonna make it super crowded. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh so this God. design here, the, the the whole the center of the design is is about the, the the green, the jungles, and into the ceiling. So idea is more like a, we actually build a house inside a jungle. Oh. Is and it, is all it... the plants actually spread and expand into our buildings inside? Is so it artificial is or real? Place. Yeah. Sorry? Is this, is it's real? No, the, it? the plants on the ceiling are not real. Are but not the real. plants Artificial? at the ground, they are real. Uh, oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. But right now, they, you know, this is an artificial plant that looks so real. Mm. Yeah. Okay. If you're using a real plant, it's actually, uh, to be honest, actually, it's no way you can maintain. Yes, of course. Yeah. So, I'm so these are all artificial plants on the mm. ceilings. But the plants at the bottom on the ground, they are real. Yes, in the ground is real. And this idea, we, we try to, um, the idea we're going to do, you, you can see this lantern here. It's actually, it's not a lantern. It's actually the tea bottle. The tea, so what? We try, it's a tea bottle. You oh, know, the, tea the tea bottle. Container, the tea container. 
Mm. So we try to transform it into a light bulb in the light in the lighting resource from the oh. tea container. Okay, That's okay. this shape come from. Mm. Mm -hmm. The shape of okay. okay. And then now we're standing behind the bar. You can overlook the whole areas. And there's a few views about the people started using the how they're gonna use the restaurants. And then the right hand side is a few views as well. Uh, I wonder what the material of the furniture, the loose furniture, the chair, the material of the chair. Oh, material, the material. You mean yes, the ground floor? The, the uh, yes, in the ground floor, the backrest. The ground, okay. Uh, the one you see in black and white, they are actually marble. Yeah. The small, tiny marble. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, sorry, the other way around. I mean, the black and white, they are, they are actually uh, pentagon tiles, it's very small, uh, like a mosaic tiles. Oh. And around it by, actually surrounded by a copper bar. So we're using a copper bar to make a shape, like a four circles, right? And then oh. we fill with the uh, mosaic tiles in the middle. So the, the one is actually black and white. And okay, then the, the end here, that. they are actually uh, the irregular shape of the marble. So okay. to make it as rough as possible. Mm -hmm. yeah. And this one is actually the ceiling. <laughs> what it actually means, okay, uh, here, this is the mirrors on here. I want to show you how, why I do this. I'll show you the pictures on here. I'll, I'll go back, okay. Now, these are mirrors. There are two strips of mirrors. And then the structure of this city actually that go like this. They are like a wings for the bird. They are actually a metal structures on here. But it's probably structure. covered by uh, all these plants. And then mm. this so you can see the metal structures here. It's like two wings on here. So we fill in these mirrors on top to reflect a lot of plants when actually people standing here. So you can see a lot of plants here reflected from by the mirrors as well. That's what we do, okay? Now, okay, I get that. So if I can go back to the different view. Okay, here, this is the mirror. Yeah. Okay, can you, okay. This is the metal structures, uh, the curved yeah. metal structures. Mm -hmm. And then we fill in the mirrors that I get in here. Okay. So we, are, we try to, and this is actually the glass as well. This is the mirror as well. This area, they are our mirrors. So the people standing at the bottom here, when they look up, they can see the plants and also they can see the re reflections for the scene and also the external beam. Why do you right. put the glass at the mirror in the in there? It make the reflection. Uh, the reflection of the mirror. It actually make the plan more attractive, and then it's much more full. Yeah, because, because yeah. at the time I, I I actually quite worry about we we can fill up the plan. Yes, yes, the yes, yes. So I I sort of sort of think about a way. How can I make the plants loose? A lot of plants. Mm. So okay, I'm using okay. the technique of the mirrors and then to reflect all the image as well. <laughs> That's yeah. one of the design technique using the mirrors. Okay. Okay. But in the end, we are quite lucky. We fill out the, the ceilings anyway. <laughs> 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 all right. So this is actually when you look at the the, the, the mirrors and how they actually reflect the different oh, images yeah. on the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I see okay. that now. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, and then there are different, uh, you know, different areas on here. And also the right hand side, the stairs, we're gonna go up. So on the right hand side, you can see we are using the raw metals. Is on the left hand metal. side. So mm -hmm. all you see here, they are actually rusted. Mm -hmm. They are actually, they are the actual rust. It's just like it's not actually, a painting. actually like in the jungle and you saw our iron and then it's... Yes. <laughs> it's not rusted. It's not yeah. rusted, so yes. We, we, that's why we, that's the, the feel we try to achieve as well to make it as natural as possible as a, in the natural environment. Okay. And this is the way we go up to the, uh, the second floor, the open garden and in the nighttime. And then this is sort of the, the color scheme we try to achieve as well. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, chapter five. I become quiet. Is everyone still awake? <laughs> yes, but uh, we have uh, maybe you uh, you must just wait. <clears throat> uh, I think for uh, the short time, so you make your presentation more faster. We are running yeah. off the time. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Yes. Sorry, everyone. Yeah. Sorry, everyone. I'm, I'm <laughs> Uh, yes, yes, yes. Five minutes, only five minutes. So we're done. Yeah, only five minutes, five minutes. Five okay. Minutes. Okay. <laughs> okay, follow. Okay. I jump onto the furniture, it's more like um, the dream for the architects. I jump on this furniture, uh, the, the single chair design. This project runs about uh, one year from the beginning to the end. And I went through different process and then changing the drawings, changing the height, changing the angles. And then luckily, we got this award last year in 2021, IF Award, Design Award. And this is my first furniture design. And then when it complete and lucky I got this award, it's very, it's kind of encouragement as well. So next time I'm, I'm gonna jump onto tables, dining chairs, like that. Okay. And okay. then this is the pictures for the, uh, the furniture. Okay. Something I want to share with everyone here for the designers um, is more like inspirations is around us everywhere. Why do I say that? Okay. I want to see a lot of exhibitions everywhere. And this, this is the pictures I took back in Australia because I'm, um, I love this photographer. So the, the, the project you, I presented today, 70% I took the photos. I just want to ask oh, that. the pictures are actually who done by me. Who take that picture? It's a very, very good yeah. picture. Yeah, the, and yeah you... the, project, the first three projects actually is done by me. Okay. I, I, I learned this photography since when I, when I was in year three in architecture school. Oh, so I, jumped, so I, I, I used camera <clears> for a long time already. So the picture you see here is actually done by me as well. It's a very so fine I want to share with everybody here is actually uh, when you see some, uh, you know, sculptures, some artwork, that what becomes your inspiration for the design. Now even the, you know, the, the outer shape, also the colors as well. So you can see these pictures up here. So this rotating, um, the, the tunnel and then also the right hand side they are actually all, all white Lego. Yes, like a lake. Also, it's called a Vivi Sydney in Australia, in Sydney. It's quite a very big event every year in Sydney in May. So if someone travel to Sydney in May, remember you gotta go to this event. Okay. Good job, I'm done. For the day. Wow, oh, and been your design so fancy, modern. You know, I like all of your work as well. And can I work with you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, hope, to... I, I hope I am not jumping too fast for everyone. No, no, no. It's very, 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 very amazing. Okay, Edwin. Before we go, uh, go to the quick. Q and A uh, session. Uh, now oh, we're gonna oh, get oh. a breakfast for fifteen minutes. Okay.
yes, give uh, the audience facility to have a mag a maghrib break, uh, okay. and we will we will come back in 15 minutes. All right, so, so the I'll audience, see you 15 minutes. Yes, you're gonna see me again in 15 minutes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes, good to see you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Now the time is for my Greek time break. Uh, thank you, everyone. See you again in 15 minutes. And the right. question. Thanks. Okay, I forget about the question. The question you can write it down in the uh, chat column, so we can uh, collect it first before we answer it. Okay. See you later. Sure. See you guys soon. I'll be back. I'll be back too.
Ya, sebenarnya dari saya pribadi bahwa acara ini sudah sangat baik ya, di mana para senior bisa sharing mengenai pengalaman-pengalaman mereka terhadap anggota-anggota baru yang beberapa masih uh, ada yang menjadi mahasiswa, beberapa yang sudah lulus atau baru lulus jadi mahasiswa. Jadi kita saling berinteraksi antara satu dengan yang lain dan memberikan suatu suasana yang baik. Jadi harapan saya bahwa pertemuan dan kegiatan semacam ini sebaiknya lebih intens diagendakan sehingga keberadaan desain interior baik itu sebagai suatu profesi atau suatu sebagai suatu organisasi menjadi suatu hal yang sangat komunikatif di dalam masyarakat kita sehingga menjadi suatu hal yang tidak awam dalam masyarakat kita pada umum. Buat ayah saya pribadi ya. Uh... Sebagai praktisi desain interior, acara seperti ini luar biasa sih, amazing gitu kan. Amazing itu dalam pengertian seperti apa sih? Dalam pengertian uh, acara ini tuh uh, nurturing, jadi uh, memberikan sesuatu bukan hanya buat kita-kita aja penyelenggara gitu, atau para undangan, para pembicara gitu, tapi juga buat uh, para audiens dan juga para pelaku-pelaku atau pihak-pihak lain yang terkait secara langsung ataupun tidak langsung terhadap bisnis ataupun terhadap dunia pendidikan desain interior gitu ataupun terhadap praktisi ataupun terhadap ilmu desain interior itu sendiri gitu jadi in overall luar biasa gitu menurut saya acara-acara yang melibatkan profesi yang di, di Indonesia khususnya di sini di Bandung ya itu bisa sangat membantu yang terutama yang pertama adalah komunikasi di antara desainer lah sebetulnya karena uh, kita selain hari ini rasanya nggak ada satu forum yang bisa apa ya melibatkan seluruh desainer interior di di Indonesia atau di Jawa Barat lah dalam hal ini Jawa Barat jadi dengan adanya acara ini tentunya mereka bisa bertemu berkumpul kemudian yang kedua adalah uh, dengan adanya acara HD ini kami harapkan pengetahuan mereka tentang uh, segala aturan atau kode etik uh, itu bisa selalu disosialisasikan karena selalu ada anggota-anggota yang baru dari HDI yang uh, yang tentunya mereka memerlukan informasi 
informasi yang terbarukan dari hari itu sendiri jadi saya terus sangat sangat support apalagi acara ini juga dilengkapi dengan acara uh, talk show ya dan talk show ini kita juga bisa sering diskusi sebetulnya uh, uh, dari pembicara ataupun dari audiens bisa sering bertukar pikiran seperti itu ya yang pertama tentunya ada sebagai uh, ya atau sebagai forum atau institusi yang resmi lah dan uh, institusi resmi yang nomor satu harus bisa melindungi terus terang melindungi anggota anggotanya uh, memprotek lah jadi kalau saya bandingkan misalnya dengan di Singapura itu uh, himpunan arsiteknya atau himpunan interior itu sangat melindungi anggota anggotanya nah, jadi melindungi itu artinya mereka diberi uh, hak-hak yang jelas tapi tentunya juga dengan diimbangi dengan kewajiban ke kewajiban Nah, karena apa? Karena zaman ini berkembang terus. Apa yang terjadi 10 tahun yang lalu pasti akan uh, berbeda dengan uh, dengan sekarang atau kedepannya. Nah, aturan-aturan itu atau kode etik itu harus selalu berkembang mengikuti uh, zaman. Jadi yang satu tadi saya perlindungan apalagi dengan adanya MEA ya. Jadi saya pikir keterbukaan itu juga harus uh, tetap ada perlindungan lah ya terhadap anggota-anggotanya. Uh, di jadi saya pikir Uh, itu adalah tugas uh, HDI untuk uh, bisa mengayomi, melindungi, dan memberi pembinaan terhadap anggotanya di atau di Jawa Barat. Harapan saya bahwa kita sebagai anggota asosiasi profesi atau sebagai satu organisasi profesi harus cukup peka terhadap problem-problem yang muncul di masyarakat, khususnya dalam bagaimana mereka menghuni hunian yang mereka tempati apakah itu dalam lingkup yang paling kecil rumah tinggal atau dalam suatu lingkup yang besar kita harus mampu menangkap apa sih problem-problem yang dihadapi oleh masyarakat sehingga dengan hadirnya kita sebagai uh, seorang profesi desain interior masalah-masalah yang tadi muncul itu bisa terselesaikan dengan baik jadi justru kepekaan kita terhadap problem-problem yang tadi muncul harus semakin digali harus semakin di tingkatkan sehingga kita bisa menangkap dengan sangat baik dan kemudian memecahkan dengan sangat baik problem-problem yang terjadi dalam masyarakat Indonesia. Bukan hanya sebagai sebuah wadah atau bukan hanya sebagai uh, struktur organisasi atau bukan Not a game, it's a rich thing.
not a game, it's a rich thing. Welcome back everyone. The link uh, attendant today webinar is available. It's going to be available in chat room. So everyone here who attend this um, webinar can see the chat room for the um, absence. What is it in English? Absent. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, before we answer the question, we like uh, we would like to say thank you for uh, Vipere Group, Wilson Art, Albright, and Carta Laminates for support our program. Thank you so much. Okay. Without any further, first question, Edwin, are you ready? Ah, I'm ready. Okay, you're ready now. It's from Rihanna Safitri. Hello, Ibu. Uh, hi, Mr. Chan. See, everyone here call you Mr. Chen. You know, that's why I'm calling you Mr. first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I would like to know, how do you transform your imaginary idea into a real interior pieces? By sketch drawing manually or 3D studies by computer or else? Seeing your okay. beautiful 3D rendering, are you still believe in creative power of manual sketching? Uh, yes, I do. Um, in reply to the question above, um, myself and also Linda, we do a lot of hand sketch, a lot of hand sketch. We mm -hmm. using a lot of um, the, the yellow tracing paper in my office previously. Mm. But right now we are jumping onto the iPad. So we're using an app called um, GoodNote and also the one called Tracer. So Tracer gave us a, a lot of opportunity. Be, uh, become hand sketch become quite, uh, it's actually still the hand sketch. And they still got these filters like a layering become a yellow trace on top. So we were using on the plain stage. We come up with the uh, original uh, major site and then understand the needs from uh, the, the client. For example, if we got two adults, two kids at home, they probably request we need about three bedrooms and then one study room. And I want an open kitchen or closed kitchen, stuff like that. And then they were, the process we went through, the, <clears throat> the client will come to us, they will probably prefer which project they actually like from actually in studio, or like they might find other images from the internet or maybe from different offices. So when we're doing the presentation, uh, come with our floor plannings. The floor plan, we might usually we come up at least two options, maybe three as well. When we're doing the first, uh, you know, the, the, the project presentation with the client, uh, starting with the discussions, we will try to explain the every option of the floor planning, their advantage and disadvantages, and maybe the relevant costs into these the, the, the plans. And later on, we will talk on every image we found for the presentation. So we, for example, we, if we found about 10 pictures from the lobby, the first we might either pictures from us or even from the client. We was um, into the picture, we were discuss about, okay, which part of this building do you like? For example, uh, if you got a picture um, of the, the lobby, you probably got a, uh, the, the, the cupboards, 
and the seeds, and then the floor tiring or maybe the timber. So we will actually um, ask the client, from these pictures, which one do you like? Which one you dislike? Because everyone's got a different opinions and they, they react to different colors, different materials. So we need to find out what I actually want to prefer in terms of the color and their needs. So we will try to explain on every pictures. If you got hundred pictures, we're going to go through every hundred pictures wow. to find out what I like. Okay. So at the end, that, but the, what I like right here right now, they might, if you combine every element into a, a house or maybe into an apartment, they might mm -hmm. look quite awkward. So our job is to try to unify all their needs and then delete what is not suitable and then maintain what is better for them. That's actually mm -hmm. what we do. I'm not quite sure, is, does that answer your questions? Mm, I think yes. You, uh, you do the sketches first before yeah. you doing the uh, design, drawing design and uh, 3D modeling, right? You do 3D modeling. Actually, in your presentation, it is a photograph of real project, right? No, no, no. The, the pictures here, they are, all, they are all real project. They are all completed. They are not renderings. Not rendering, right? It's they not a rendering. Rendering. Real pictures. But do you do a rendering 3D too? Or yes, not? we do. We do. Okay. Um, after the, uh, the, the plan that been sort of been finalized, we jump on to 3D modeling. So in my office, in, back in Australia, we are using Autodesk Revit. Mm -hmm. It's more like an architecture practice they are using as a software. But in Taiwan, we are using um, uh, SketchUp. And then later on, we jump onto documentation. We're still in the, using the CAD to draw up all the, uh, the documentation, all the construction drawings, all the detailings. That's what we do in our office. Okay, thank you very much, Miss, uh, Ed, Mr. Edwin Saiburiane. It's very interesting method, Mr. Chen. She said that. Okay, the other question is, uh, Edwin, your designs are fancy modern. I like uh, all of your work as well. She said it's very tempting. Uh, so glad to hear your experience. Uh, you have a you very have a very good taste. Uh, she said, um, do you put some culture tourists to your design? Uh, design Taiwan, yeah. Oh, do you put some culture tourists to your design back to Taiwan or something like that? By the way, sorry, I, I don't quite understand. The okay, uh, <laughs> in the in your in, when you back to Taiwan. Yes. Do you, do you bring some of uh, your uh, experience in the uh, your overseas, yeah, Australian yes. or New Zealand, back to the Taiwan? Yes, 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 I do. Um, the the project you you, you probably saw um, some colors actually are quite quite colorful. So um, the, the 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 experience I I learned from New Zealand and also Australia. In architecture, they are actually quite colorful. So we try to bring this color back to into Taiwan. Because in, in Asia, um, not a lot of people, I mean, the in population or percentage, not a lot of people prefer colors. Mm -hmm. they, they like maybe black and white or maybe gray color and then mm -hmm. gray color and then combination with the timbers. Yeah. That's it. Okay. So, when we bring this into, we, when we actually bring this experience back in Taiwan, that shocks some people, <laughs> especially our clients as well. Okay. <laughs> they, they can, they, 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 um, the first day, they are, they are, they are quite afraid. It's, oh, are you sure? Can we do that? Would that be, it's going to be too much color? Mm. So maybe we push on 100%, but at the end, we might sort it out, become like, a, okay, my standard become like a 60 or 60% and they can, okay, oh, that's okay. But if you push too hard, it was, oh, no, 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 yeah. my God, I can't do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that's how, that's actually how we actually develop. So 
when you first come out with a project with, with a lot of colors, that will attract different ki clients they actually like colors. Mm -hmm. So that actually one project, maybe you do 60% of colors, next project, they can accept 75% of the colors. Next one, they might accept oh, 85% of the colors. Mm. So it's so keep actually, growing. Um, that's our movement, movement of every project. Okay, I yeah. see that. Okay, thank that's you. Right. It's uh, And then the other question is from Mutia. Uh, hi, yeah. Mr. Chen. I'm really impressed with the black and white apartment. <laughs> the the girl okay. wants something different. Yes. What what the uh, what the title of the, of the project is? Crow. Right, the, the house was uh, Choriskuro. <laughs> I can get that. Anyway, we make it simple. House is black and white. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I want to ask how you read. How you how you read for those breakthrough design yet make it really great and have balanced execution with without making any too much or dual those balance how do you practice practice it to your design? All right, um, uh, I think this planning here. The first idea is actually I went to uh, our museum back in Australia. It's, uh, in, I, I remember it's actually on the back of the uh, Victoria house. There's a big courtyard at the back. So they done a one uh, black metal block, metal box mm -hmm. without any lightings. So they, got, they, they probably got similar to my wire entry in the TV units. So we got two entries into the, the, the black house the black box. And then when you enter the Y entry, I mean, I'm talking about the, 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 the inspiration I got. So we enter that one there, that, that give you something different because um, if, you, if you enter into a very dark tunnel, you can see the light at the back, at the end of the tunnel, you will want to go through. So that's the idea I, I got it from here is actually into the very dark areas, and then you can look at the, the, at the bottom at the end. So that gives you something different. So when you talk about is a black and white and the percentage of how I actually achieve it. Um, Susan, the first time was actually, it's actually only something in my head, but we actually adjust a lot in our 3D model. And then we do a lot of hand sketches as well in, into the sections and how we're gonna do the scenes. In this project I done, I remember I have done three or four types of ceilings to make sure this is our final product. And then some of the ceilings, they are, they are actually quite crazy as well. But we sort of, you know, we push 100% by the clients, oh, way, way too much. So we sort of um, backwards, going backwards to, to actually stay in the middle points. So the ceiling for the design actually is something that client can, and can accept. So what I would encourage people as well, we, we need to try and we need to push the clients. If you don't push the client, you, you never know the limits of what client actually can accept. So you just okay. need to push them. And then going backwards to where they can accept it. That, that's actually the, the process I've been, been through on this project as well. The first 3D design was actually shock our client as well. <laughs> so we, we do a lot of changes on the design as well to make sure actually it's not as a strong characters as a man. So we sort of bring in uh, maybe a little, you know, the ladies in, into this, um, the, the design, yeah. So I, I wouldn't say the, um, the method, how I can do in the percentage of the black and white. I, I probably cannot explain this in words. Is it something we just need to try? And then because something you need to try in the models, you change your colors on different areas, you, you change everything in white or change everything in black. And then you probably adapt, or maybe just 40% of black and 60% of white, and that might work. So this is sort of, um, it becomes like, um, 
how you think this is pretty, but this pretty is actually the, the sex sense. And everyone might think this house, um, house of black and white is actually quite ugly, but some people might think it's pretty. So I, I, I don't have the right answers to say, oh, how can I, how much black I should use or how much white I can put in the, into the room. So this is just something we need to try. Yeah, sorry, I, I couldn't give you the direct answers. <laughs> No, yeah, I think it's already uh, answered the question. And but the, there is another question for me that yes. the black TV uh, panel, you know, yeah. the uh, yeah. what the material is it? For material, okay. Uh, the on the floor there are tiles. Yes, for the back on, uh, backdrop. On the ceilings, they are called uh, this called it, um, is called is imported uh, pens. It's got mm -hmm. this uh, rusty um, kind of uh, look when you touch it. I, I don't remember the name, but it's got a special paintings on that one. It's not like a Dulux paintings. It's not a water, it's not a water base. Oh, it's not a water base. It's not a water base painting. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's a painting and, actually. Yeah, and it's a paint. It's a paint. Um, but you, if you look at the TV units, they are mm -hmm. they are actually metallic paints. Oh. It's got a real metallic power powder into it, so that looks a bit shiny. Oh yes, yeah. yes, yes. I just wondering that you really, really put the metal on the uh backdrops TV. No, no, yeah, the, the black. black they, are only, they are only the the special paintings. Oh, okay, I see that. And then it's a very very beautiful. You put it a yeah. curve line in the right corner, and then it's just like a trap simple straight line in the, yeah. it's a very contrast like black and red right black yeah. and white is just curve and straight line <sighs> i'm so inspired <laughs> okay and then the next is uh the material that you use for your apartment the first project from uh, in the taiwan yeah. uh that's beach food uh is it already common use in Taiwan or not? Okay, you mean, uh, no, no, uh, we got this uh, import timber, birch wood, uh, plywood. This one is actually kind of, the one we actually um, adopt, actually the one come from uh, Russia. Oh, wow. Yeah, because uh, they got a lot of birch wood. They are actually uh, mass production in Russia. So I believe some of the birds we found probably from New Zealand or from Australia, they might be local grown. And I believe some actually imported from Russia as well. Yes. Yeah. Oh. And, and this timber is really good. It, yeah, it's actually quite environmental friendly. They got a very low VOC mm -hmm. content. So the chemical content inside this timber is very, very low. So it's not very harmful for people to live inside. Mm, okay, I see that. Okay, thank you, Mr. Adam. I think we're just gonna finish the question because it's about time, you know? Okay, it's, if we you, answer man. it, maybe until midnight, we're just gonna <laughs> answer <laughs> the question. <laughs> okay, uh, now I'm gonna read the resume first before we end it. Uh, what a great work, Mr. Edwin Chen. Uh, he going through more than just 20 years far from Taiwan and finally back for good uh, to Taiwan from first, first project in Taiwan all about multifunction apartment and win yeah. award uh, good design, finally golden, golden perm award. Is that yeah. right? That's right. Okay. And in the middle, our second project, he has a great work in this uh in the house of Chiatos Kuro <laughs> 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 with a black and white, a black and white uh concept. And also this project is win award too, right? Yeah, that's right. Yes, and he also do the collaboration project, not but not least this project make me inspired we love the exploited ceiling red pipes the, the 
Sometimes, sometimes, see my my Chimahi accent is come out again. Tempting shape, <laughs> yeah. We need to know from inspiration around you, the artwork, color, and shape, uh, vibe around you makes your work so wonderful. We are very thankful for your share. So inspiring. You. Now maybe after your good uh share, uh, I have a simple quotes. Okay. Ooh. Design can be art. Design can be aesthetic. Design is so simple. That's why it is so complicated. Cause simplicity is the ultimate form of sophisticated. Okay. Thank you very much. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh please surprise everyone here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, i'm sorry for the other question that we cannot answer because we have this uh, limited time to discuss thank you for all uh, joining please follow our instagram account for any uh, uh, event update and if you want to watch again this webinar you can search in our channel don't forget to subscribe okay guys Thank you for thank you uh, to for all participants who already make time to stay tuned in this webinar. Thank you for our translator um, here, Faisa and Krishna. Thank you for Hadi Jabar, Hadi Jakarta, TNI Idea, and thank you for uh, Vivera Group, Wilson Art Alborite, and Carta Laminate. This is the end of the webinar. Thank you so much, Edwin Chen the principal yeah. of art film studio to give our okay from the afternoon tonight so inspired see you again next time in the series yeah. of spirit of asia uh, stay healthy stay strong and always happy thank you so much bye bye okay. sampai and jumpa we, um, i was wondering yeah. um it's possible i have this um uh, Anna, to we can do a screenshot of everyone. Is that possible? Uh, I, I, I. Oh, we can do that. Maybe we can have a. Uh, we, uh, maybe you can see it in the YouTube, but we cannot see everyone here. The oh, we can see everyone. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. Yeah. yeah all right. Yeah. All right. Okay. Cool. Yeah. But thanks everyone. Thanks for your time. Oh, Sorry, oh. I've probably been talking too much wait, today. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe the panelists, the panelists can uh, see it. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. The panelists, can you open the camera, please? Can give me the phone. Okay. Maybe they are prepared. Wow. Hello, everyone. Hello. 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 Yes, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, you with me, you with me, you with me here. Okay, here. This is my PIC. Hi, <laughs> <How Hey. I doing? laughs> Okay. Thanks for all the teams in, in, in Indonesia. You guys are doing so such a great job. Thanks for organizing. Yeah. So thank, you thank, thank you very much. Thank you very much. much. Yeah. Thank you, Edwin. Yeah. Okay. Uh, who, okay. On my, on my comment. And in one two three siapa yang screenshot oh udah <laughs> oke <Okay. laughs> oke okay. thank you very much Edwin bye. thanks everyone thank you Edwin bye see right. you bye bye happy holiday sampai jumpa alright catch you later how you, in, how you say it in Chinese Zai Zian Zai Zian Zai Zian Zai Zian okay thank you thank you bye 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 bye